Hey Leos, welcome back to my channel. So you guys are my final reading for November. I don't have any reason why it came out like that, but that's just the way it, that's just the way the cookie crumbled, all right? So Leos, let's see what's going on with you guys for November. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and fifth house placements. What is happening for Leos in November? What are the themes? The first part of the reading is just going to be focused on you, and then it will be focused on your love dynamic. So, Leos, what's happening? Oh, we've got King of Cups. I just pulled that for Aries. Okay, so a lot of love and passion here. Love and happiness from Al Green just popped in my head. Got King of Cups. You guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I see this as mainly Scorpio energy, but this is Scorpio season we're talking about. We have Twin Flame, okay, Connection, the Lovers, which is also Gemini energy, and then Queen of Wands, which is you guys, possibly, or another fire sign, but most likely you guys. I feel this person is really seeing you in this light, this person you have a twin flame and they're very connected to you right now. They're having strong emotions. They're mastering their emotions when it comes to you. They're having realizations and they're very attracted to you right now, Leo. So, wow, that's a crazy energy to start off with. So because I wanted to start off with a non-love part of the reading, but we just kind of went there. I'm gonna just get into the love portion. So we already know this is a twin flame connection that's starting off right off the bat. So let's get some more energies. What What's the history? What's the story with you guys, Leo? Up in the air, okay? So it's kind of like you don't really know what's going on. Um, it's all very much unfinished business right now. Proposition, wow. A lot of love energy starting off this reading. So you guys may be expecting a proposal or maybe not expecting a proposal, but this person wants to take it to the next level with you if you're not even dating maybe they want to proposition you know you guys starting to date or even starting to talk again after things have been kind of fuzzy for a while favorable outcome wow leo a lot of strong energy here so let's get some more tarot and see seems like things are really going to be moving forward for you guys leo and um in November here. What other energies do we have? Actually, I want to remove these cards because I'm going to be trying to take them away as I go because it gets to be too much when I'm sorting them out after the reading. So, all right. We've got justice, karma, okay? So this could be a situation where you've been waiting to receive justice around a situation, Libra energy, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could have been a third party situation, Leos, with you and another air sign. But I also feel like this is you finally getting your chance to speak your mind, finally getting your chance to say the things you never got to say, and them also saying those things. But this could also be someone that you tried to cut out of your life that you were maybe really brutal with, or maybe you felt like you had to be defended against them and I feel like things are going to finally start to balance out a lot of major arcanas in this reading so far and this is an Aries energy so a lot of different players in the game too we have Gemini Libra Aquarius um, Aries Sagittarius um, King of Cups Scorpio so it could be any of those signs but um I feel like you guys are finally getting your power back. You're finally getting your mojo back. This could have been like a very intense situation where you felt sort of powerless, but I feel like everything's going to start to even out for you guys, Leo, here in November. So let's get some more energies on the situation. What other energies are going on here for November for Leo's? Zombie spirit control, empty, submissive, okay? So someone in this, like I said, you guys could have felt like you were being submissive. You were losing your power. You were turning into a zombie. You could be coming back alive after feeling like that in this dynamic, which will help the dynamic. Journey, relocation, moving on. 
So even though you could be in a twin flame dynamic, you could also have decided to relocate, to move your situation, to stop being in this place of feeling empty, of feeling controlled. Like I said, I really feel like you guys are getting your power back. And whether that means getting back with this person or not, that's your number one thing right now, Leo. Um, we've got spirit of the angel, guidance, blessings, and answered prayers. I do feel like things are starting to come into alignment with you guys for November. So whatever you've been wishing for, I'm wishing on a star. Maybe it was for this person to come back around. Maybe they're relocating. Maybe they're coming back to you. Maybe they were being controlled and in an empty, submissive situation. And they're also finally getting their power back to where they're finally able to come forward to you after being controlled by another energy in their life. Okay, so let's pull one more here. Decay, rotten, stagnation, spirit of the fly. So they could have been in a situation that just was very stagnant, but they didn't know how to get out. And now they're starting to move forward to you, Leo. Okay. So I'm going to pull for my twin flame current vibes and see, since we did get that, um, you guys are in a twin flame dynamic starting off the bat in the reading. So what, what is the twin flame energies coming up in your reading, Leo? I just saw the second chances card and for some reason that was speaking to me but I wasn't done shuffling so let's see Leo I am here I am always here all you have to do is reach out to my spirit and I'll reach back so I feel like this person is saying I never left I was always with you through every part of the journey and I'm still here they want you to know that they're here they want you to know that they're available. Broken. I broke myself when I broke you. Are we too broken to fix? So I feel like this person, you know, you guys may have even broke each other and you've just been spending time trying to get yourselves back together and maybe you needed the space to realign to get yourselves back. Okay. Okay. The grass isn't greener. I thought I was making the right choice, but I was wrong. Things are not that great over here. So, like I said, I saw the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. There could have been another female, if you're a female watching in the dynamic, and they chose this other person, but then that situation got stagnant, got rotten. They felt stuck. They felt disempowered. They felt powerless. And then finally, now they've realized the grass isn't greener. They want to be with you, Leo. They're this person isn't making them happy. It's not the right situation for them. Okay, so let's see what this person wants to communicate to you. I allowed outside parties to interfere with our connection. I permitted key differences to cause our separation. I let you go when you were willing to fight to hang on. So I feel this person sorry. They feel remorse. They feel regret for the decisions that they made, okay? They, they're they saying there was another person involved. It could even be a family member or a friend or work friends or something like that. I am lost and lonely. You are not wrong to feel this empty and uh, this empty, this energy emanating from me. So if you guys have been feeling like your, your twin is sad and lonely and depressed without you, you're definitely picking up on something about them. Okay. You're definitely tuned into the fact that they're not happy without you. I need you to hold the light. Your healing energy is required at this time. Please send me your love. I need it now more than ever. This person, it's definitely seeming like they're in a dark place, Leo. And who else has the light but Leo? I mean, that is the, the sign of light. So I feel like they're definitely broken without you. Because I'm broken when I'm lonely and I don't feel right when you're gone away. All right, I'm pulling for my moody moon messages masculine and seeing some of their moods, some of their feelings right now. They're trying to be more like you, Leo. You guys are the lion. They're looking in the mirror and they're seeing you, but they themselves don't feel worthy or good enough for you, okay? But they know that they have to take a leap of faith. They know that they made the wrong decision. And look, they're ready. They're ready to mature. They're ready to grow up. They're ready for divine timing. They feel like union is finally possible. They miss you. This really like a strong energy. And, you know, timing seems to... Be more aligned than ever and they're very um 
they're very motivated by the fact that they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about the past. They can't stop thinking of how things went wrong, okay? So I definitely feel your twin flame could be coming into union or start communicating with you come November. Let's see how they see you, Leo, with the moody moon messages feminine. I told you guys I was going to try to put my cards away. They see that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, you're loving yourself, you're focusing on yourself, you're growing within your own self-love. They see you as someone enjoying your life. They want to maybe join adventures with you. They feel like maybe you're even moving away from them and they're starting to feel like your light is fading from them and they're getting scared and that might be what's triggering them to come forward and they feel connected to you, but they also see that you're very grounded, spiritual and connected to yourself and that's what inspires them so they see you in a lot of positive energy not all the cards in this deck are positive but they see that you're very connected you're very happy you're very joyful and they want your light they miss that light that you shined in their life with your own light okay so i think i'm going to end there leo thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys next time bye